Hi Paper Crafters, this is Robin with Robin's Creative Cottage. Today I'm going to share with you a card using the Birthday Bash cartridge. And from the handbook on page 46, there is a very cute roller skate card. Now with the card, you just have to uh, cut it out, an embellishment, and then you have a shape card right there. It's really fun. So I'll use the card and then the little embellishments that go with it. Let me show you how I have it laid out on my gypsy. And I have the skate in the upper left corner, the skate card, which you would uh, score and then fold in half. And then on the upper right, those are the pieces where the ties would go, your string would go, or your laces would go. Um, and then in the middle, right are the center of the wheels that I want to put on my card and then again bottom right are the wheels because I wanted to do a little bit of a, a layer going on and then if you look on the lo lower left I have just half of the skate because I'm going to use that piece to layer on the front of my card and then also um, on layer two I added um, a piece of the front of the skate as well and I'm going to put that on the inside of the card so that I'll be able to write. Here's the pieces that I have cut out. Um, I went ahead and cut the white piece and that is going to go on the inside of the card and then the pattern paper piece is going to go on the inside of my card. Now I did cut a few extra <coughs> excuse me, of the wheels and the center wheels and then also of the pieces that you use to lace up your skate. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get creating. Now I've got my skate and I'm just going to score it in the center so that it can fold over easily. And then also with that extra inner white piece, I cut off the extra so that it would lay nicely inside the inside of my card. Did the same thing with the front pattern paper piece. So once I've got that, I went ahead and folded the card over and gave it a good score. And then I laid on the front piece. And then I also I went ahead and decided I wanted to cut the wheels off. So I grabbed the paper trimmer again and I cut the wheels off. Didn't think I needed to worry about gluing those down since I was going to glue an extra wheel over the top. So grab my ATG, put tape all over it, and then attached it to the front of the black skate card. And then I like to use my um, mounting tape whenever I like to give a 3D look. And I did that with the two black wheels, laid them right on top. And then I grabbed the pieces that go for the um, center of the wheel. And I just laid them, gave them again a 3D look, but decided I only needed those two and I didn't need the other two that I had cut out. Took my glue and I got extra glue so I had to lay them on top of each other went ahead and laid down the lace pieces and then again I wanted to do a 3D look so I grabbed those pieces and then I thought you know I want to do some lace on there put some put some twine the twine is is blueberry twine from my craft spot so I went ahead and decided to tie a bow and then I'm just gonna attach that with a glue dot so now I was ready to put on my other two lace pieces and just as I started doing that I thought of an idea on how to add a little bit more lace. Just put a little bit of lace behind there, just strung it all the way up to the top of the card, cut off the extra and then again reattached my bow so then it kind of looked a little bit more like a lace skate. So I took the inside white piece and that is going to be on the inside of my card and that's just going to help so that I can do the writing so it will be able to show up and also because I'm going to stamp on the inside of that as well. 
So what I decided to do on the outside of the card is I went ahead and got my Dynamics metal dies and I got I have the royal roses and also the royal leaves so I am just rolling them up I this is the first time I've ever used the royal roses so um, hoping that my flowers are going to turn out okay and I wasn't sure if I wanted to use one or two flowers on the outside of my skate so I went ahead and I cut two and then I thought well I'll decide after I get them put together so just used hot glue to glue that piece down. So then I have my roses. And now I'm just laying them out trying to decide how I want the to lay them on my skate, where I want the placement, and how many leaves I want to use. So once I've decided that I go ahead and add a little bit of glue onto my skate. And I went ahead and decided to use both of the roses on there. And decided to add one more one more little leaf. For my sentiment I decided to use my uh, my craft spot clear stamps. I love these stamps. The one that I used was birthday wishes is the title of this stamp set. I used the happy birthday and then on the inside I used hope your birthday is awesome. I went ahead and stamped the happy birthday on a scrap piece of paper and trimmed it down using my paper trimmer and once I did that I grabbed my corner chomper and I just chomped off the corners the four corners and then I layered this on a piece of black cardstock and did the same thing trimmed around the edges grabbed my corner chomper chomped off the corners and then I went ahead and got one of these this, these are the pin clips from Close to My Heart. Uh, first time I've used these, I really like them. Kind of fun to add a sentiment to and then poke it in your card. I was playing around trying to decide where I wanted to put it and once I decided where I wanted to put it I added a little bit of glue and then obviously got a little carried away with the hot glue so wanted to put one more leaf in there since I had some extra hot glue sticking out. Thank you so much for visiting today. Please leave any comments or questions you have below. I'm happy to answer them. And I will leave the links to the items that I use on my blog. Have a great day.